Hi everybody! Welcome to my cozy cottage. How are you all doing? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Jody and Tootsie here and we are here to share a Timu haul. How are you feeling today Tootsie? Are you doing good? You want to give me a little kiss? Mwah. There's her little growl, her little kiss, saying hello to our friends. She's actually not in a bad mood today. Much better than last night. Last night I had to give Tootsie a bath. She was not smelling too good and Tootsie sleeps with me. So as I gave her the bath, she literally screamed and complained at me the whole 15 minutes of the bath. And then I tried to dry her. She literally went ah and screamed at me through the whole drying process. And I was only trying to dry her because she was cold, she was shivering. So it was quite the night. This all happened at 11 o'clock last night. But she's smelling pretty good today. So let's hopefully she's good for my video. So with all that being said, let's get on with this haul. I found some really nice things. I'm going to be sharing a try on with the items that I bought. So what I'll do is as I show the clothes, I'll do the try on at the end. I'll show all the tops and then I will try them on all at once, all together. All right, so let's start with something small. With my small items, I show you a close up with my camera because they're so tiny and it's hard to hold them up to the camera with the background. So I wanna start off first with this beautiful cross necklace with an infinity style and it drapes down. I'm gonna hold it like this. And see, it's very hard to show these to keep it still. So let me show you a close up and then I will talk about the price. So, isn't it beautiful? And I have to tell you, it sparkles a lot. The price I paid for that is unbelievable. I would love to, I wish you could talk to me and guess. 27 cents. I don't think you can go to a store anywhere and find something for 27 cents. And that was the cost for that. Unbelievable, right? Cute little gift to throw in with a card if you're giving someone a gift certificate or something, how sweet. Next up in this little package is a cat charm. Let me hold it up close. Now let me show you a close up in person then we'll talk about it. So I recently started purchasing these charms because I love to not only decorate my home, I love to decorate my pocketbook or my purses and I like to clip them on the zipper or like a little chain or a little thing and they're just so cute. You can even change them for the seasons. Now the cost of that was so inexpensive, very close to the necklace. The price of the cat charm was 31 cents. Can you believe it? It is adorable. The quality of the, the clip and the hook is really good. And um, I, I you just can't beat that price. And the little cup with the cat peeking out, I just love it. So that's going to be added to a purse as a charm. So next up, I would like to show you a purse. When I find where I put it, I have quite the haul here today. Let's see if I can find where I placed the purse. Here it is, on the bottom. Since I showed you the charm, I want to show you the purse because I want to show you how I would clip the charm on a purse. All right, so let me take out this. Now, it's not the typical type of bag that I like. I, for everyday use, want a lot of pockets. That's not what this is for. This is if I'm going somewhere and I just want to use a white bag for the summer, but this would not be my everyday bag. 
So let me show you. It has a chain. It is quilted. Let me see on the top here if there's a little twist. There's like a little kink in the chain, but I think I just need to adjust it. But here's the style. Let's look at the bottom. Just a plain bottom. Quilted. Let's open it. It has a snap magnetic snap closure which is nice let's open up and see what's inside plastic anybody want plastic <laughs> so the inside of this is basically <clears throat> just plain it's more like a tote bag than a purse I don't see any pockets nope so this for me like I said would be if I want just a nice like white bag to go somewhere it also showed, I'm going to show you a picture of it right now from the website. Let me show you a couple pictures. Okay, so this could be also used to, as an extra bag to lug your iPad or even a lunch or something like that. Really cute. So this is what I was talking about, how I like to add the charm. So let's add this little charm to the chain right here and it'll be hanging down. It also has a gold label. Let me just put my charm on here. Which way does this open? I see it. Let's add it because it's so cute. Yeah. Look how cute that looks when you add a charm. Isn't it adorable? I just love that. So um, I think that just dresses up the bag and I could even add one on this side. So I'm actually gonna leave that there. That's what I got it for. It's, it does have this gold label here and honestly, I can't read if it has anything or if it's just gold. Yeah, it's just like a gold plane, but actually I think that dresses up the bag and so does my little charm. <laughs> So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me tell you the price of this. I got such a great deal. Like I said, that's not, for me, not an everyday bag. It doesn't have enough pockets. It doesn't zip close. It only has a magnetic, more like a tote bag, but very cute. The price I paid for that quilted bag is $2.38. Can you believe it? $2.38. Now, I will try to leave a link for that. What I want to do is I will link some things, but if you really want a link, please leave a comment and let me know, and I will put the link up. It's a lot of work to find all these links, especially for different orders, but I will put the purse. But I am going to tell you when I was looking up prices for you on my handy-dandy clipboard here, it was now $8.98, and I paid $2.38. So the pr thing with Timu is... You need to kind of check it a lot. And I would sometimes put something in your car and leave it. And then later on, the price may go down. They actually kind of message you too, sometimes if you leave things, to um, that things have gone down. Or go back and check again at another time and you may get a better price. So that's what I paid, 238. Can you believe it? I think I even took a picture because I said, who's, who's going to believe that you pay that price when you see it and you go on the website and look and it's $8.98, right? So I took a picture of that. I believe I did of the price on my order sheet. Next up, I want to show you some flowers. These are amazing. These are the... Did I cut this one? I want to get one that I already cut because I try to prepare before my videos so that you don't have to wait for me to cut and do all these things. I just know we all have busy schedules. So who has time to sit and watch, you know, for me to do all those things? So I try to prepare as much as I can before I start. So they come with an elastic on the bottom and they're all bunched together. They are the real touch tulips it almost feels like a rubber they the quality is awesome the green is a little bit bright than maybe some but other than that the stem and the quality of these is fabulous and if you go on amazon you know it, it's almost like I, I would say when i did purchase some because i have got them from amazon before i paid probably ten dollars for a bunch like this 
and these are right up there. Like I said, green's a little brighter, but really they feel amazing. So I got, let me show you the price of these. You're not gonna believe the price I paid for 10 Real Touch white tulips. I paid, where are they? $1.37. Now, you think, oh, they don't look so great. Let me show you a clip of these in a vase. Now, in my vase, I had 20, but think about it. So that's why I paid $1.37 for, for 10, okay? So in my vase, there's actually 25 tulips. But let me show you what they look like. They're just gorgeous. Okay, so here is a vase of these tulips on my dining room table for my Easter tablescape. Aren't they beautiful? So what'd you think of the tulips in the vase? Leave me a comment. Are they beautiful? I am so happy with this purchase. I purchased some for me. I purchased some for my daughter. She loves white. They are beautiful for spring decorating. Next up, I have a bunch of flowers that are, these are for outside in your yard, okay? I got one, two, three of the purple, one, two, three of the pink, and one, two, three of the red. Now, all together like this, if you spread them out and you mix them up, with some greenery. That's usually what I do. I mix up a bunch of greenery with them. And they are really nice and full. And the color in them is like multicolored. There is some actually some black mixed in. So they really do look nice. Let me show you the pink close up. I like how they have, I use some of these in white in my house. And I love the, the quality. So I'm just, I'm really not fluffing them as good as they should be. But just to show you the quality of these, look. Do you see the lines on the petal and stuff? Really nice. And let me show you a close up of the purple. And like I said, I am not fluffing these out how they should be. And I would mix them with, like I said, maybe some ivy or some sort of boxwood with them. But can you see the purple? and the black, just beautiful. All right, so I got nine bunches, nine bunches. Look at them all together. Even let's just mix them all up, right? Let's mix up all the colors and do like a jumbo full basket, okay? Say I mixed all of them for a pot on your porch, okay? Now this is not even filled out how it should be, but so here they are, nine bunches for $5.59, $5.59, what a deal, because normally just one pick or one bunch of the Dollar Tree is $1.25, and I got nine for $5.59, so there you go, cute, 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 all right, I will say though about their flowers as I'm holding them, sometimes they have a plastic smell, so what I do is I put them out on my porch for a few days, and it goes away. That's what I did with the last ones I bought because I did buy some of the white ones. All right, what's next? What's next? Now we're at the clothes part. So we'll be getting ready for the try on after I show you each item. I will try them on for you. This sweatshirt is actually a Timu purchase too. This is, um, what does it say? But first coffee. Yeah, I'm definitely a coffee girl. I like it. Really cute with the little design on the logo. And this one has the nice fleece inside. Sometimes when you get a sweatshirt, it has no fleece. It's more like a jersey. This one does. And I am from Rhode Island. It is still freezing here. It is so cold. So I have purchased a few more sweatshirts. And there's just something about it. Even after work, I'll throw one on that fuzzy, warm feeling when it's cold. I just love it. <clears throat> so let's start with this first one here. This one is, oh, came with the tissue. It's a nice cream color, so it goes with anything. And it says, I'm gonna just show it. And there it says, with God, all things are possible. I love it. I love the little cheetah print on the letters. I love the heart, I love the cross. And let's see, is the inside fuzzy? Let's see. Yes, it's a fuzzy inside, so it's nice and warm. 
and I believe I got an extra large. Usually the sweatshirts I get at an extra large. They're a little bit big on me, but I just love that cozy feeling of it being a little big. It reminds me, yeah, extra large is what I got. It reminds me of, remember when you were in high school and you used to wear your boyfriend's shirts or their sweatshirts and you had that big warm feeling? Well, to this day, I still like my sweatshirts to be loose and big. So this is an extra large. I will be trying that on so you can see. Um, I My size is probably a large, but a lot of times I get an extra large. I can vary to an extra large too. Next up, another sweatshirt. You can tell I have been freezing. It has not warmed up yet here in Rhode Island, not at all. I love the idea of someday going to Paris. I studied French in middle school and high school, and someday I hope to go there. So look at this. Oops, let me hold it straight. There it is. I like to buy a lot of things that say Paris. This is also an extra large. And it is the same type. It has a fleece inside. It feels really nice. Now let me look up the cost. I don't know if I told you the cost of this one either. With, with God, all things are possible. Let me see. All right. That one, this one is $4.19 and the Paris one is unbelievable. The Paris one was $3.57. $3.57. Can you believe it? And this one, $4.19. Next up, I just got a plain gray one because sometimes you just want a gray sweatshirt. And like I said, I think I've just been really cold here. I am looking forward to the warm weather. But even that, I do a lot of camping. And this one doesn't have a zipper on my seal here. I do a lot of camping. So it gets chilly at night. So sweatshirts to me can be used all the time. So I definitely want one. I'll have to rip this bag. That's okay. So this one really to hold up is just a plain gray. I figure it matches anything. And it's just a plain gray sweatshirt. And let's see if the inside's fuzzy. Yes, the inside is nice and soft. This one feels a little bit lighter weight than the other two do. And let's see, I probably got an extra large. This one definitely is a little thinner. So I guess this would be a good summer one if you want to just take the chill off, but you don't want it too heavy. These two are definitely thicker. Okay, did I get... Yes, an extra large. So all the sweatshirts are extra large. The gray one, the price of the gray was $3.77. $3.77. So basically all of these, two of them were under $4. Next up, I want to show you a pretty blouse. This, I am in love. This is my favorite purchase of this haul because I like to let you know my favorites. And the best deal was the infinity necklace for 27 cents and my favorite is this blouse here that i am going to try on for you i will try it on first it is a v-neck blouse with a almost like an elbow length sleeve with a ruffle Oh, I feel like I need to iron this to try this on for you because how, how can I try this on for you with all the wrinkles? It's just not going to look as good, which means I'm taping at night. I'm going to be ironing this shirt because if I want to show it to you, I want it to look good. So here you go. I also already own this one in tan, so I knew I loved it. Now, I'm not sure if I told you the price. It was this pink top. Where is it? Two dollars and 38 cents for a blouse and a pretty pink blouse i must say so myself two dollars and 38 cents where are you going to go where you can buy a top for two dollars and 38 cents now it is let's see what it's made out of i'm sure it's polyester most of the things at timu do have polyester yeah 95 percent polyester five percent spandex um, so I will be trying this on. I will be trying them all on. So let me begin trying them on. So here comes the try on fashion show. Here we go. Okay, only I would model a plain gray sweatshirt. 
But let me tell you, it feels comfy. I want you to get an idea of how they fit. So I did get an extra large. Please pardon my hair from flipping this over my head. I have plenty of room. It's very loose, but it's comfy, cozy, and it's a plain gray sweatshirt. And for that price, right, we can't beat it. Now for the Paris sweatshirt, love it. I am in love. It is so cozy, comfy, it says Paris. I actually feel like you can even dress it up with a nice pair of pants. Sleeves are a little long, but because of the way they cuff, they're fine. I have plenty of room. It's loose around the middle, giving it a thumbs up. Yes, it gets a Jody approval. Let's do a little turn, check out the back. Woohoo! yes, like it. Now it's time for the sweatshirt with God all things are possible. Absolutely. Love it. Thumbs up. Very nice. Classic. Fits well. I have plenty of room. It's comfy cozy. Give you a little twirl. What do you think my friends? I get a thumbs up. Jody approval. Now on to my pink blouse. <laughs> it's not easy to do this stuff. All right, so I'm doing a close-up here so you can see the sleeves. The sleeves go to the elbow. They've got a little ruffle. And I think this is a perfect size for a summer top. I love the sleeve being a little longer. It's really pretty. It's really comfy. And even with a different necklace, it'd be real pretty. What do you think? <laughs> being silly, but it makes me feel pretty. And for that price, $2 and change, yes, thumbs up. Okay, so what'd you think of the fashion show? <laughs> Mostly sweatshirts, there wasn't much there today, but I did like the blouse, love to know what you think. Sweatshirts, we all need sweatshirts to keep us warm, especially at chilly nights in the fall, and like I said, even in the summer when I go camping, sometimes we need a sweatshirt at night. So that is my Timu haul. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'd love for you to consider subscribing, joining my Cozy Cottage family. Thumbs up, greatly appreciated. We really need those to help YouTube know that people are watching our videos. And it helps us with our channels. And I'm trying to make my channel grow. I'm very close to getting 2,000 subscribers, hopefully soon. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful night. Bye for now, my friends. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite and what you think was the best. Well, we know the best deal was a 27-cent necklace. But let me know what your favorite was. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now, my friends.